Hello and welcome to today's webinar. My name is James Gerrish. I'm the lead portfolio manager for Market Matters Invest, which we're going to be launching uh, today. I'll be running you through all the details of our new uh, investment platform. Uh, I'm also a portfolio manager at Shuren Partners. And today's webinar is going to briefly outline uh, what Market Matters Invest is, uh, how you can potentially invest in it, um, who are the people behind it, what the platform does and what the process is to get started. Then I've got a bunch of um, uh, Q&A uh, uh, to, uh, to get through at the end. So once again, thanks for taking the time uh, uh, to, uh, to, to, to jump on today's webinar. Thanks for your interest in Market Matters Invest. We're very excited to be launching uh, the uh, the new uh, platform today. And I think you're gonna um, find the um, features, the simplicity of it, um, and the ability to invest in our portfolios um, are very user-friendly. So as I said, today's uh, webinar is gonna look at the people behind it, the platform and the process. I'm gonna give a, a brief um, a PowerPoint presentation just running over the high notes. I'll then dig into the platform itself and give you a quick overview of the platform in, in real time uh, so you can understand um, how it all works. Uh, and as I said, I'm going to answer your questions at the back end of the webinar. Just before I begin, it uh, would be remiss of me not to remind everyone on the call today that this is general advice only and should consult a, a financial professional before determining whether or not market matters invest is suitable for you. Again, we provide general advice only. Just in terms of the people behind market matters invest, so I'm, I'm obviously the lead portfolio manager uh, across the portfolios. We're launching three portfolios today with an international portfolio to come in um, the next couple of months. So the, the three portfolios are um, the active high conviction portfolio, the active income portfolio and the emerging companies portfolio. And they're very much aligned with the portfolios that are listed on the Market Matters website. So I'm the lead portfolio manager. I'm supported by a, a very experienced investment committee. Um, Peter, Win Peter White is our responsible manager and also a member of the investment committee. 20 plus years experience in the markets, um, very well credentialed financial professional. Peter Winty uh, is, uh, has got decades of experience. Um, both Peter White and Peter Winty have been on the team uh, for around five years now. Um, so Peter Winty is also on the investment committee and a well credentialed credentialed um, uh, committee member. Harrison Watt uh, works with me uh, alongside me at um, in, in our in investment portfolio management business at Shore and Partners, uh, a, a very um, uh, intelligent, talented um, uh, investment professional who um, is going to be char well, he's charged with managing the emerging companies portfolio alongside me. Uh, but his main focus will be in the emerging companies portfolio, and then bringing it all together is our um, uh, with our is our research lead. So Sean Hickman's been um, you know in the markets for over thirty years. He's had a great um, history in terms of macroeconomic analysis. So we've got one centralised. Um, figure coordinating our research efforts for both the uh, the newsletter as well as the Market Matters uh, Invest portfolio. So, um, Sean, it brings a ton of value to the investment team. Let's move on to the platform and look at some of the key um, aspects of the platform. I'm going to run through these high-level um, uh, snapshots of the platform, and then we're going to dig into the um, uh, the intricacies of the platform more in real time. So we've partnered with Open Wealth, so they're the the platform provider. Um, we have uh, securities held uh, via custodian. Uh, which is Link Fund Solutions. So, uh, and the investment manager is Market Matters. It structures a separately managed account, which has a couple of really interesting, a couple of key aspects to it. The underlying securities are owned by you, uh, the investor. Your tax position is um, the important thing. So, you're not inheriting someone else's tax liabilities in a in a um, in a trust structure, which is a typical managed fund sort of structure. You're the beneficial owner of the securities uh, within the portfolio. Cash is held on trust and securities are portable. And by that, I mean that um, you can move in and out of the portfolio. You can actually move securities, um, shares in and out of the portfolio, if you like. So you can make an investment via shares. Um, you can move your shares. If you decide um, you, um, you don't want market matters to be involved in the management at any time down the track, you can actually move your shares out of this separately managed account structure and take them wherever you'd like. So that speaks to the underlying ownership 
of the uh, of the positions within the the relevant portfolios that you're investing in. The platform, and I I, I know most. Um, you know, most focus uh, uh, can often be on the fee side, and we've made we tried to make it as simple as possible. I think we've achieved that, and I'm going to show you some um, uh, some uh, different looks around um, fees for different amounts, etc., and the discounts that are applied across uh, for for higher amounts in the portfolio. But I guess the main thing to look to, for there is there's a flat, fair, um, very transparent uh, 0.85% per annum fee inclusive of GST charged on the invested funds. Um, so that includes the platform, the investment management, so market matters, the reporting and the administration. The reporting and administration is, 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 is really comprehensive and it includes audited reports. It includes 24-7 access for you to, or the user to generate any reports around profit and loss and dividends and, uh, and the like. Um, so that's a, a really useful part of the platform. The other important aspect in terms of fees is that there's no brokerage charged on any transaction within the SMA. So whenever we make an amendment to the um, to the portfolios and we we make transactions, there is zero brokerage charge to the um, to the um, uh, the investor in the SMA. So unlike a managed fund where the fund pays brokerage in expenses, um, there is no underlying uh, expenses or brokerage or whatnot within this uh, SMA. There's um, the indirect cost applies to the income portfolio only, and that's because there are a couple of um, funds within that portfolio. So metrics credit has a fund there. So that's estimated to be about 0.04 of 1% per annum. But again, it's um, not applicable to other portfolios. Uh, and the other the other important thing, and I haven't got it on the slide there, but it's, it, it's becoming um, more and more prevalent. These um, cost recovery fees within platforms and SMAs and managed funds and the like, cost recovery, and it's just this random figure that appears on your statement, um, which is allowing the fund manager um, to apply a cost recovery fee. There's no such fee um, in this Market Matters uh, Invest service. Uh, it is simply the standard fee of 0.85 of 1% inclusive of GST. The tax position is the account holders. So it's not, as I said before, you're not inheriting someone else's tax position. The buy and sell spread. So we had a few questions about this um, when we first um, uh, when we first launched the webinar. Um, it was effectively there is no buy and sell spread, unlike a managed unlike a, a managed fund, the trust, um, where sell price might be 98 cents and buy price might be 102. That is the spread. It's the cost of transacting. We don't have such spread. The liquidity is based on the underlying securities within the portfolio. So it's not like a case of, gee, we need to, you know, we open the fund up once a month for redemptions or once a quarter for redemptions. Um, the liquidity is based on the underlying security. If you want to withdraw or make a withdrawal, um, of funds, and you do that before 9 9 30 a.m. on the day, those securities will be sold down during the day and the funds will be available in your account on a T plus two basis. So trade plus two trade days. Um, the display, the 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 fee displays there, which I'm going to get to in the live environment very shortly, but there's a cool little platform feature where you can go and look at, you can put in different amounts and you see what fee you're going to be um, paying. The account types that we can open um, for market matters, invest or individual, their self-managed super funds, trusts, corporates, charities, and as trustee for minors. So uh, I have my daughter's account set up here. Um, so they are, you know, James Gerrish as trustee for Kaya Gerrish um, and uh, the beneficial owner when she turns 18, the beneficial owner doesn't change. So there's no tax event. Um, the tax is dependent upon who puts in their TFN uh, before uh, Kyra is 18, uh, God forbid. Um, so if I put in my tax file number, then I pay uh, the relevant taxes uh, between now and when she turns 18. If, if she puts a tax file number in, then we need to. Uh, she needs to submit a, 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 a tax return each year um, as a consequence of that. In my case, I put mine in uh, and then we'll, it's sorted out through my um, tax. Application is an online process in most cases. So normally we can identify people online 
Um, but Market Matters can certainly assist if you're having problems with that. So there's there's a screen coming up shortly that has all the Market Matters contact details on it. So please don't hesitate to reach out to the team via phone, email um, or the live chat. Uh, so we can certainly help you with the account opening process. In terms of reporting, there are audited annual reports that go out for the portfolio. So um, for tax um, purposes, you'll get an audited annual report. Um, but there are user-driven, a bunch of user-driven reports that can be accessed 24-7 through the platform. So I think that's really important. I'm a big one for transparency. I'm a big one for investors knowing where they stand. Um, and this platform allows that to take place. So uh, really um, comfortable with the level of reporting that you're going to get if you are an investor in the Market Matters Invest um, portfolios. Uh, the, the portfolio team, so um, me and the portfolio team uh, write monthly portfolio reports. Uh, we detail the performance of the, um, the portfolios for the month. We detail um, uh, the you know, any major um, uh, movements in terms of stocks, detractors, um, and and um, and uh, additions to the portfolio, any changes, anything that is on our minds from a portfolio perspective. Uh, we track uh, monthly performance over various timeframes and the like. So it gives you a really clear understanding of our thought process, what we're doing, why we're doing it, and, and what outcomes we're having at the portfolio level. There's a smartphone app, um, and all you need to do is search Open Wealth in the App Store, and you can jump on, and there's an app on your phone which you can see your portfolio through that app. Um, it's aligned with these portfolios, so we're, we're, we're operating initially three portfolios. So as I said before, we've got the active high conviction portfolio, which is aligned with the flagship growth portfolio. We've got the active income portfolio, um, again, aligned with the income portfolio on the Market Matters website, and the emerging companies portfolio. The reason um, the uh, I put there that they are they're aligned with the market matters portfolio, but not replicate uh, 100% because there might be some slight variances in weightings given um, you know, the time of execution and the like. So the slight variance um, can play out. So it may not be 100% aligned. The minimum investment I've got there is $10,000, but the emerging companies portfolio actually starts at $5,000 initial investment uh, and $10,000 for both the income portfolio and the active high conviction portfolio. And there is a a simple online um, application process, which I'll get to very shortly. So let's go and have a look at the platform and I'll run you through some of the key elements to it. Before I begin um, with that, there's just a, you know, some information on the screen around visiting the Market Matters website. You can talk to one of the team. There's a, a friendly team there. There's a 1300 number uh, or you can email mminvest at marketmatters.com.au. Without further ado, I'm just going to... Um, so um, get to the um, how you get to the MM Invest uh, portal on the Market Matters website. So just go and jump on and the website and look at um, uh, Invest Online portfolios for um, direct investment, and you'll get to this screen. Um, you can go and sign up for the monthly Market Matters Invest reports. So they're the performance reports for that go out on a monthly basis. So please. Um, as a first point of call, you might want to go and sign up for a monthly report which details the portfolio's performance or the relevant portfolio's performance, uh, the portfolios that are available, the account opening. So you can uh, uh, go straight to the account opening link. And if you want to call, you can put your details uh, in there and receive a call. So I'm just going to log into the platform. I already um, have logged into the platform and this would be the first screen that you would get when you log into the platform. So it gives some you know, quick information on the portfolio um, uh, team, quick bios there so you know who you're dealing with. It gives a quick understanding of your portfolio valuation over time. You can get various timeframes um, in that. So inception, um, that's a, a, a new investment I've made into the portfolio um, and different timeframes there. It gives the portfolio breakdown. So I'm invested in the Market Matters Income Portfolio. Gives you a high level breakdown of cash, Australian shares, property and fixed income. Uh, and then you can look at the actual underlying securities that you hold. So it gives you a clear breakdown of what you're investing in, um, the number of shares that you hold. Um, and, and, and again, these are your shares. They're held in 
um, the held is you're the beneficial owner of these shares. You could move these shares if you so chose. So there is the an understanding of the value of the positions across the portfolio. Um, you can um, dig into some insights. So we provide insights onto the platform around um, you know, how we're thinking about the market, um, et cetera. There are a bunch of documents that are available. Um, as I said, so the, the reporting function is quite, um, you know, quite extensive. So you jump onto the platform and if you want to generate any sorts of report, you can do so there. You can go and look at realised capital gains in detail. You can look at performance. Um, you can look at income generated. Um, so there's all sorts of reports that you can go at any time, jump on the platform and generate um, reports. There are three portfolios on the Market Matters website the active high conviction, the income, and the emerging companies. To go, you can, once you're jumping, jumping on the platform, you can look at what fee would be applied. So a $10,000 investment, it would cost you $7 a month. If you wanted to make a $200,000 investment and get a, a complimentary Market Matters subscription, it'll cost you $142 a month. Um, the, the, um, and you look, you look at it on a percentage basis. So if I go and look at um, 10,000, we're charged uh, 0.85 of 1%. As I said, that's an all-inclusive cost. It includes the platform. It includes the investment management, the reporting, et cetera. And there is no brokerage charge on transactions with the model. If you go over, if you go really want to um, uh, ramp it up, you can that the minimum cost is uh, for investments over three million dollars. Three million and one dollar investment will have a management fee of forty three basis points. So that there's discounts applied to portfolios for investments greater than uh, five hundred thousand dollars. So the more you invest, the more you save is probably the the the, the key takeaway um, in terms of that. And it gives you an understanding of the type of portfolios that. Uh, market matters. Um, uh, the the um, the underlying, the typical in, typical investors, the investment objective, and the strategy and the approach we take on each portfolio. So that's certainly a really um, clear and concise way of articulating the fee structure. Um, I think, in terms of um, in terms of um, the account maintenance, um, I think contributions and withdrawals are really important. So at any time, you can add. You can make a contribution into the portfolio. You can simply um, uh, detail how much you'd like to put into the portfolio um, and select the, 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 the way you'd like to put the money into the portfolio. And it will spit out um, what you need to do to go and make that investment. Probably more and perhaps more importantly, and for, for greater peace of mind, there are a couple of ways you can withdraw funds from the portfolio. You can make regular withdrawals. So um, if you want to set up a quarterly withdrawal amount that goes into your linked bank account on a quarterly basis, you can certainly do that. And you can do that as a percentage of the underlying portfolio value or as a or a standard amount. So if I want to withdraw uh, $5,000 every quarter, um, I can certainly go and set that up and the portfolio will automatically rebalance the underlying securities in the portfolio and send you your the amount that you want on a quarterly basis. And remember, there is no brokerage fees when you are selling securities. So there's no cost of actually doing that. You can go in and switch models between the models that you want to be uh, invested in. Uh, you can't split between models at this stage. So um, that is something that uh, the investment platform is working on. Uh, we can't split models, but you can go and open the second account if you want to allocate to one of the other market matters models that you haven't already got an allocation to um, around that. So that's pretty much the um, the key takeaways um, from the platform. So just reiterating a couple of the major points on it. It tracks performance very closely. The reports are audited. You understand who's managing your investments. You understand what you're invested in, the asset allocation, as well as the underlying securities that you're invested in. At any time, you can generate reports um, as you like it. You can look at your cash transactions, your portfolio evaluation, um, your performance. 
you can add or withdraw funds at any um, particular stage. And it is very much a user-driven experience. So we want you to have complete control over the platform and your investments. Um, the majority of people who have come to Market Matters are very self-directed. They want you know insight and information about what we're doing in the market, um, but they, they like to do a lot themselves. The accounts that you can open on this platform are varied. So whatever entity that you'd like to open an account in, we can facilitate that on this platform. The fees are very competitive. So um, 85 basis points inclusive of um, brokerage, uh, reporting, investment management, um, and uh, an annual administration. As I said, there's no performance fees in there either. The minimum amount, amounts to invest, uh, so $5,000 in the emerging companies portfolio, $10,000 in both the income portfolio and the active high conviction portfolio. Um, I've just got a couple of questions here around international um, uh, stocks. So we are going to be launching it for international, the, the international equities portfolio. Uh, that is due in September. So there's a couple of, uh, we've been working with the platform provider to be able to do that, open wealth. So we're going to be able to launch that in September. September. The only uh, change, there will be a 10 basis point increase in cost base for that portfolio. So instead of 85 basis points, it'll be 95. And brokerage is going to be charged at $1 per share, irrespective of trade size. So $1 per international equity. Um, and that's all. So it's going to be a really cost effective way of investing uh, internationally. I think in an offer a platform that's slightly um, that's very straightforward and transparent um, compared to what else is on the market. Can we transfer existing shareholdings into Market Matters Invest? You certainly can. So you can invest, you can put, um, you can move underlying securities into Market Matters Invest and you can take underlying securities out of it. Um, it's a little bit more complicated, but we can certainly do that. Um, you can take out, can my financial advisor watch the returns in tandem with me? They can, they can log into the platform and, and, and look at the returns as um, as you can. What happens to dividends? That's a good question. So dividends um, are paid into the uh, account and they are reinvested into the model. So uh, if I get, if I've got $100,000 to keep, um, you know, things uh, very simple and I get paid $5,000 in dividends and the model is holding 1% cash. So uh, there, there will only be 1% or $1,000 in cash. The uh, remaining $4,000 will be invested reinvested right across the portfolio. Remember, importantly, there's no brokerage charged on transactions. So that is a key point um, in, that, uh, in that discussion. Uh, Open Wealth is the platform provider, as I said. So they provide the platform. Um, the uh, custodian is Link. Um, uh, Link Group, a large ASX listed company. Um, funds are held in trust and you're the beneficial owner of the underlying securities um, on the platform. So it is um, uh, tickety-boo in terms of um, that. There's... Um, the, the 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 dividend um, there's a question here just about dividend reinvestment which I um, had covered and I think that's um, pretty much it in terms of the intricacies of the platform it is very straightforward but I just want to reiterate um, uh, the yeah the the the, um, the the key aspects of the Market Matters Invest Service. So obviously, you know, Market Matters, we write a daily note. We want to inform people around our views on the market and what we're doing. This um, Market Matters Invest allows our users to invest in our platform, invest in our process, invest in our performance and invest in our portfolios ultimately. Uh, the team is a really experienced one. We think the platforms are really um, really strong, straightforward, um, uh, transparent, simple to use, easy to articulate and understand um, what we're doing and why we're doing it. Uh, and I think the, the, the process that we've just outlined today is very um, transparent and, uh, and again, user-friendly. So uh, we encourage you to uh, ask any questions that you might have uh, about the process about the platform and where to go here to answer any questions or to ask any questions I should say jump on the market matters website there's a lot of information there around um, uh, what we've spoken about today talk to one of the team there's a great team at market matters who are more than happy to talk to you through the 
um, the uh, the Market Matters Invest service. So give them a call on the 1300 number or email mminvest at marketmatters.com.au. And there's even a chat function if that's the way you want to go. So once again, thanks for um, uh, taking the time and uh, having interest in Market Matters Invest. I'm excited to be launching this. Uh, and uh, I think it's a, a really opportune time given what the market's doing at the moment to invest uh, to launch such an investment um, option like this that could complement many investors' portfolios out there. So thanks again for listening and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.